yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. thing that stuck with me most about my time on Iwo Jima was the first dead Marine I saw. He happened to be the oldest man in our platoon. At that time I was 21 and he was 24. He was the oldest of the 45 men and uh, he was the only one that had a kid. He was married and had a kid. And that's something I'll never forget. I had excellent NCOs who had been in three operations. My, both of my, my platoon sergeant, staff sergeant, and all three squad leaders had all been through the three operations before Iwo. So I just thought it was, I was very fortunate to have, to go with an experienced group like that. And I was very, also very, very fortunate that I was assigned to a unit before Iwo. I, I felt very fortunate that I was, I was leading a troop instead of coming in as a replacement officer. Uh, the first morning, which was D plus one, I went just checking my uh, my Marines, checking my lines to see how everyone was doing, and a barrage came off. So I jumped into a hole, and uh, a Marine came by with a war dog. I didn't even know the heck we were going to have war dogs. And so he and his dog jumped in there, and it turned out that uh, he was a sergeant that had been a, my DI when I was at P Paris Island. So we had a, a reunion, <laughs> we remembered each other, and he had a Doberman. And the main thing I remember is that the, the Doberman was probably almost as scared as I was. It poor, he, he was pretty scared. Everyone was so, not only so used to doing their job, doing a good job, but they all seemed to love each other. And that, that really made me feel good. We had a really, really good outfit. I was only on three days. I was very fortunate. I got hit on the third day. And, uh, well, I was hit by a, I presume it was a mortar, and not an artillery shell. I really don't know that. But uh, I was again. I was out checking the troops, and I got. I didn't. Even, I don't recall hearing the thing, but I. I got hit, and all I remember is, is diving into a, a crater, and I didn't wake up until I was. Uh, I was on a stretcher going to the beach. I got hit. I got hit with a piece of shrapnel in my heart. Uh, the shrapnel was still there. We thought it would be safer to stay in the heart muscle rather than try to open it up and get rid of the shrapnel. And then we went down to the beach and they had us lined up in stretches waiting to be taken out. And while I was waiting there, I got hit in the knee with a piece of shrapnel. And actually this, this thing in the knee bothered me more, gave me more problems for a few months than it did. Than the, this heart thing never really bothered me, really. <laughs> 